Hi everyone, my name is DTJ KFC Richard. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that if I post a video, you'll be the first to receive it. Your comments are very important. Keep your comments coming. That is what is making me better. Today we will continue our series with the differentiation and we are on differentiation of trigonometric functions. But before we start, I would, try to, I would like to revise your knowledge on some differentials. So we say if y is equal to cos x, remember, you have ideas will be equal to negative sin x. If, if you did not watch this video, the video on this, please go to YouTube, type TTJ KFC Richard, TTJ T E T T E. D Z I E K P S Y. Then reach it. You will see that. Also, if let's see y is equal to sine x, then our dy over ds is equal to cos s. I know you are impressed with this if you have watched the video. Today, before the video end, I will take you through the differentiation of the trigonometric functions again, some of them. You remember in our last video, all the differential we did, we used quotient rule. Today, we will also differentiate using the two other rules, that's product rule and chain rule. I will take you through that. Then, we will also learn the differentiation of exponential functions. Exponential functions. Uh, the differentiation of exponential functions is known in, uh, let's say, uh, SHS. But I know my university students who know what I'm talking about. So if you are in SHS, learn it before you get it, because you are going to do differentiation of exponential function. So come with me. Okay, so uh, we have our first question. They say if y is equal to cos square s, find the value of ideas. Remember that video. If anytime we are differentiating is to an exponent. We use what? You want to say chain rule? Very well, you did well. So we use chain rule. So we let u to be equal to the base. What is the base here? The base here is cos x. So we let u to be equal to that. What next? So this will make our equation u squared. That's in a place of cos, we put u. See, this can be written as cos x or squared. We can write it like. So, in a place of course, we can put that become u square. Now, you differentiate each of these with respect to their individual independent variables. So, u is equal to cos s. Our du over ds will be equal to what? Remember that negative sin s. Then, y is equal to u square. Remember, using simple differentiation rule. Our uh, dy over du, drop the exponent to, then you subtract one from that, that becomes one. So, what is chain rule saying? Chain rule is saying that our uh, dy over dx will be equal to du over dx times dy over du. Look at it. du will not be u, and then we have our uh, dy over dx back. What's our uh, du over dx? du over dx is negative sin x plus our dy over du our dy over du is 2u so what we have we have negative one will multiply it to be negative 2 sin x then u negative 2 sin x remember there is no u in our initial but we let it be equal to something that's what cos s so we replace it cos s so our gradient function dy over ds will be equal to negative 2 sin x cos s. I hope you get that. Now, I want to show you how to do it very fast without passing through the process of chain. That's direct. See, if y is equal to cos square s, look at it. dy over ds will be, see, drop the exponent 2. Now, differentiate the base, cos x. If you differentiate cos x, what do you get? You get negative sin x. 
Now repeat the base again, cos s, and subtract one from the exponent. If you subtract one from two, what do you get? You will get one. So cos cos s exponent one is cos s. So in our share, on polish you will get negative two sine x cos s, just as the first one we we did. The same answer. I hope you get that. Okay, so I would like to do this directly without using channel so that you'll be abreast with it. So you have ideas, please straight forward without using channel. So we said drop the exponent 3. Differentiate the base. The base is sinus. When you differentiate sinus, what do you get? You get cos x. Repeat the base again. Sign. Then subtract 1 from the exponent. If you subtract 1 from 3, you get 2. So this becomes the differential of this. I hope you get that. I hope you get that. Now we we'll solve another question using chain rule. Come with me. Okay, so we we'll solve the next question. Is if y is equal to sine 2s, find your values. This one to we we'll use chain rule. We we'll use chain rule. So this y is equal to sine 2x. So let u to be equal to 2x. Then our y will be equal to what? Sign u. That's in the place of the 2x we put here. What do you do? Differentiate this. So at the u over the x will be equal to 2. Then our dy over the u. Remember the differential of sine is what? Cos. So cos u. I hope you get that. Then we use chain rule. Chain rule say find the product of the two derivatives. So our dy over dx, our dy over dx, will be equal to du over dx times dy over du. Look at it, the du will deal with the du, then we have our dy over dx back. First, our du over dx is 2. First, our dy over du, that's cos u. So, we have 2. Cos u. However, there is no cos in our initial, so we replace it. So our d over ds will be 2 cos, what's our u? Our u is 2x, so 2 cos 2x. That's it. That becomes our, our, uh, our gradient function of this case. Let me show you how to do it directly. So, remember y is equal to sine 2s. So dy by ds will be hot. Look at it. Repeat, uh, differentiate this. Differentiate the angle here. When you differentiate 2s, you get 2. Now differentiate the sign. When you differentiate sign, what do you get? You get cos. Then repeat what is there. Very simple. Now let me do another one using the direct. If y is equal to, let's say, uh, cos 2x squared plus 1. So, dy by ds is what? It's saying that differentiate the angle. Remember, 2x squared plus 1 is the angle. So, on differentiate this, we'll get what? We'll get 4x. The differential of this is 0. Then you differentiate this. When you differentiate cos, you get negative sign. Then you repeat what is here. 2x squared plus 1. So when you polish it, you get negative 4s sine 2x squared plus 1. I hope you, you get this. I hope you get this. So now in our, our next question, we will try to use product rule to find the gradient function of a curve. A curve involving trigonometric functions. So come with me. Okay, so our next question is this. Is if y is equal to cos s sine s, find dy by ds. Look at it. Cos is multiplied by sine. So what do we use? We use product rule. Product rule. So remember y is equal to cos s sine s. 
to from Puraru. I have a video on Puraru. Please check it on YouTube. Now let let u to be equal to cos x, then v to be equal to sin x. So our du over ds. Remember, the differential of course is negative sin x. Then our dv over ds. The differential sign is cos. Now, what is Prudal is saying? Prudal is saying that your dy over ds will be equal to v du over ds plus u dv over ds. Now, what's our v? V. V is sin x. So, sin x. What's du over ds? Du over ds is negative sin x plus what's our u? u is cos s cos s what's our dv over ds is cos s v so cos s now we call it this will be negative sin square s plus cos square s means we can call this to be cos square s. That's I'm bringing the positive one first. Minus sine square s. Now, this can be our derivative. However, you know we learn certain three functions. And three, we must write our expression to the lowest form. To the lowest form. So, I want to show you one trick function which you should know. See, trick is say if you have cos a plus b. When we expand this, we get cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. Please remember, if there is plus here, the here will be minus for cos. So now, this is compound angle. So we want this compound angle to be double. So we let b to be equal to a. That's any place we see b, we put a. So what we have, we have cos a plus a equal to, so in place of b we put a, equal to cos a cos a in place of b minus sin a, let me place, let me clean here, sin a. So cos a plus cos a will be, uh, a plus a will be 2a, so that will be cos 2a. Is equal to cos a times cos a will be cos square a minus sin a times sin a will be sin square a. Look at this. Cos square a minus sin square a is cos 2a. So, so we can say, look at this. Our differential divided by ds is cos square s minus sin square a. So we can conclude that our divided by ds is equal to cos 2x. Very simple. I hope you get this. I hope you get this. It, it, it's very easy. Now, I'll try to solve this without following a long process like this. So that when you meet it, you want a quick answer to your, to your, uh, to your question, you'll be able to do that. So come with me. So, I want to do this direct without following the long process. Please, it's still productive. So, to find you have RDS, see, keep cos s and differentiate sin x. So we keep cos x, then we differentiate sin x. On differentiate sin x, we get cos s. Then plus. Now keep, what did we keep first? We keep cos first. So now we'll keep sin and differentiate cos. So we'll keep sin x. On differentiate cos x, what we get? We get negative sin x. So when we multiply this, we get cos square s. Then this will be minus. Remember there is minus the minus sine square s. So we still come back to that. So our dy over ds, remember this will be cos 2 s. I hope, I hope you get that. I hope you get that. I hope you get that. Now the next thing we'll do is that we'll learn how to differentiate using uh, we learn how to differentiate exponential functions exponential functions
Okay, before we come to the exponential function, I want to do uh, tan. All the differential we do is about sine and cos. When it comes like that, you think there is no tan differential, but there is. So if y is equal to tan squares, you are going to find y over ds. Remember, a differential of tan, if y is equal to tan x, the differential dy over ds. Remember, if you have not watched that video, please, it will be set squares. Set squares. So please, very, very important. You should know that. So what we use? We use chain again. So y will let, sorry, u to be equal to tan x. So this will change this to be u, but y will be equal to u squared. So our du over ds. Remember the differential of tan is c squared. Then our dy over du will be say drop two subtract one from the exponent. So that will become two u. So from chain rule, our dy over ds will be equal to du over ds times dy over du. What's our du over ds? Is sec square s. What's our dy over du? Is 2u. So on policy this, we get 2 sec square s, 2 sec square s u. So 2 sec square s. What's our u? Our u is tan x. So we replace that tan x. So this is our dy over ds. I hope you get that. I hope you get that. You can use direct. So I want you to try it using direct. Now our next thing is the differential of exponential functions. Okay, so as I promised you, the next thing is differentiation of exponential functions. Uh, this is not in SHS, but I hope you will learn it. Yes. So the differentiation of exponential functions. On top of exponential function, it doesn't mean a function like this, exponent 3. No, that's not what you are talking about. Exponential functions are functions in this form. E exponent something. Yes, they are the exponential function. So how do we differentiate that? So in differentiating exponential function, it's very, very simple. It's just saying that differentiate the exponent, then use it to multiply the function again. Very easy. Differentiate the exponent, use it to multiply the function again. So, if we have y is equal to e exponent 2x, look at this. We want to find the over the edge. Very simple. Differentiate 2x. When you differentiate 2x, what do you get? You get 2. Now repeat the function again. Simple. Simple. Let's look at another one. y is equal to e exponent maybe x squared plus 5 x. We want to differentiate this. We want to find the over the s. Our the over the s. We differentiate this, the exponent. We want to differentiate the exponent. Remember, we want to differentiate x squared, we get 2x. We want to differentiate 5, x will get 5. Then repeat the function again. e exponent x squared plus 5x. That's the differential. Very easy. I'll solve one more. I'll solve one more. So if y is equal to e exponent root root x. Find the over dx. So, remember, we can write this as e exponent s exponent half. e exponent s exponent half. So we differentiate that. We differentiate this. So when we differentiate this, what do we do? The over dx. Remember, using simple differentiation, we drop the exponent half then repeat one from the uh, subtract one from the exponent. That we can name it. Once subtract one from half, it's negative half. Then we repeat the function again. I hope you get that. I hope you get that. So what do we have? Remember, we can write this as one over two s exponent half from indices. Then e s exponent half. So in nutshell, 
or a divided by the s will be e exponent root x. Remember, a number this this what we change. Any number to the exponent, uh, the square root of any any number is that number to the exponent half. Is that number to the exponent half? Remember, it's multiplying. So all over two, we change this one to root n. This becomes the gradient function of this curve. I hope you get this. I hope you get it. If you end it here today, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that if I share a video, you'll be the first to receive it. In our next video, we'll also learn the differentiation of logarithmic functions. Very interesting. So look forward to that. Until then, bye-bye.